guys, so you all just watched or read the book called Lily Lizzie's Friends. And that book is one of Miss Knapp's all-time favorites. And she does this really cool lesson where um, you make paper cranes after you read that book. But paper cranes are really, really hard to make. So I found this really cool bookmark idea that we can make and turn them into our own little animal friends, okay? Um, so here's my tiger that I've made, and I just made a cool little monster. A unicorn and a crocodile. So these are super duper easy to make, but what you're gonna need to make this is you are gonna need a square sheet of paper. And that square sheet of paper can just be blank or you can, um, I drew a really cool design on mine. So I think I might turn this into a whale or a fish maybe. And then you're gonna need some markers. And I like to use a Sharpie, maybe some colored pencils, scissors, glue, and a piece of white scrap paper, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what you need to do is if you have some sort of print on your paper, you are gonna put the print facing down because if we put the print facing up, then we won't be able to see our print. It'll just be blank, okay? So when you're doing this, um, you're gonna turn it to where it fit. it's like a diamond, okay? And then you're gonna take this bottom corner and touch the top corner, okay? Take the bottom corner, touch the top corner, okay? And then you're gonna make a really, really sharp crease. Now when you do that, um, it helps you, oops, I didn't get mine perfect. You wanna make sure that it's super duper perfect and lined up really, really well, okay? And you wanna make your creases really, really sharp. You know what, I'm just gonna try again. You want to make your creases really, really sharp because that's what holds it together. Because with the origami, you usually don't use glue um, or tape. But you make your folds so tight that we don't need to worry about glue or tape because the paper holds itself together. Okay? So with that, what I like to do is I like to take my scissors. And I, we usually don't do this with sister scissors, but I like to hold the metal piece here, keep them closed. And I like to use, my hands are covered in marker. They look like artist hands. Um, I like to use this part here to make really, really sharp creases. So I just barely, I press down kind of hard on the paper and then I push it towards the front and then I pull it towards the bottom, okay? And I just do it twice because if we do it too much, it might rip our paper, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make it look like a triangle. And you're gonna take this corner and touch the top up here, okay? So we're gonna take this corner and touch the top right up there. And then we're gonna make a crease, okay? And I make it with my finger and then I go back and make it with my scissors, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take this corner here and touch this corner here, okay? And so I'm gonna come up here. And my paper wasn't cut perfect, but that is totally okay. Um, we know that when we make things by hand, it's not always perfect, and that's how we know that it's made by hand and not by machine, okay? So after we have our pieces up like this, we're going to fold it down, okay, and make a triangle. Now, you're going to point the triangle away from your belly button. So put the point of the triangle away from your belly button, okay? You're going to take just one flap. So see, I still have this piece of paper on my desk or my table. I'm going to take this top flap, this top little corner, and I'm going to touch down here to the bottom, okay? That way I have like another little blank side triangle, okay? And I'm going to use my scissors. So I know it's hard for you all to see. I'm going to make a line, but you all don't have to do this. So when I fold mine over, it's going to have, um, I have a triangle right here just like that, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner, and touch this top point, okay? So it's already folded over, so it's super easy. Now this is tough. You're gonna take your index finger, pick up this flap, take this corner here, put it underneath, okay? This is the part where we don't need the glue, so it's gonna hold it together, okay? And then we're gonna make our crease really, really good. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna fold this over, which is kind of easy because we already have that fold. Take your index finger, 
pull up that flap and then push this paper underneath just like that. And then we're going to make that crease really, really good. Okay. Now we have our bookmarks. I'll show you how this works. So here's one of my favorite books. It's called When the Crayons Came Home. We take our bookmark here and we can find the page that we're on and just put it on it just like that. And then when we close our book, our page is saved. How cool is that? Now, I just have my plain old bookmark with my design that I drew on it. But here, see, there's a little bit of a difference. I'm going to move this book. There's a little bit of a difference between my alligator and my just my plain old blue one, right? I've added stuff to my alligator. See, it still has a pocket, right? But I have teeth and I added the face to it or the nose part of it, right? And just like my unicorn, I've cut some stuff out and glued it to it. And here with my monster, my tiger as well. So what you're going to do now is you're going to think about what kind of animal or creature you want to turn this into. So I think I am going to turn mine into... I'm going to turn mine into a fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... You all don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm going to make kind of a triangle. I think it'd be fun if you turned it into some sort of creature, but you don't have to follow me and make a fish. You can make whatever you want to, okay? But if I'm going to add like a nose part to it, I make a triangle just like this, and then I put it underneath it to kind of gauge how large I want it to be. I want it to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to cut the top off just like that. Okay, and I think that's about right. That's about how big I want mine to be, but I'm going to line it up really well. So this is called embellishing. It's a really cool art vocabulary word, and it means that once we've created something, um, we add things to it to like add more meaning or add more beautiful things to it, um, which is really cool, I think. So I'm going to add my nose to it, and then I'm going to color my nose blue, I think, and add some scales, and I might give it some um, like gills and some eyeballs maybe, and a mouth, maybe even a tongue. Right? So um, I'm going to work on that and then I'll show you um, at the end of the video. But I cannot wait to see what your alls looks like. So you're going to like glue and cut and glue and color um, all kinds of cool things to make your bookmarks look like one of these maybe. Or make it look like any kind of creature you want it to look like. Thanks guys.